<laughs> so 62 and a half would work. Because of the lack of time while building the furniture in the van, I only got some time lapses to show you. My dad had only two weeks of vacation at this time and I got a lot of help from him so we wanted to maximize the time. But when he gets back to work, I will have a slower pace here and it will be a lot easier for me to bring you along. And I also hope that this channel can be an inspiration for making the change that you desire in life. And that a conversion like this doesn't have to be expensive, it can be rather cheap and still look good, without breaking the bank. And that's everything I have filmed about the process of building the upper cabinets in my van. But there is a ton of videos on YouTube on how to build these upper cabinets. I will leave some links in the description down below for those YouTube channels that have helped and inspired me. Let's continue into the future and make some cabinets door for the cabinets themselves. So what I'm using here is something to act as a rail because I can get a really straight cut if I'm using that and it's more straight than the table saw but the table saw was kind of cheap as well so yeah but this is one method you can use if you want to make straight cuts I think I will set it for 30 centimeters I think that's nice so 30 centimeters and it should be the same all over yeah Unfortunately, this compartment is not the same as the other. This can be a centimeter more or less or something like that. It was that on this side. This one is the smallest, but you, you aren't gonna see it and it doesn't matter in the end. But if we start with this one, in the middle is 63, and then we want to have a little bit of a gap. So 62 and a half would work. And the next one will be a little bit after 63 and what I mean is that you want a little bit of a of a gap between 62 and a half should be nice so let's cut it up <laughs> And this should now be 30 centimeters, but I can be wrong. I have been that before. I know that, but it should be 30. Oh yeah. So now I just have to cut it in length and we're good to go. Actually, it looks really good. Uh, let me let me show you. Let me show you. Yes, I'm taking a hole saw. I think it's called, and this one is 38 millimeters. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it around here. The measurement is quite simple. I decided that six centimeters from the edge is good enough for the center of the hole. And then I just measure out half of the length. And that's where I'm putting the hole. So I'm gonna do that. And after that, I'm gonna put it up in the cabinet and see how it looks. Stay there. Okay, so what I'm using and what I need is this. I'm using regular hinges because why not? They work as good as anything else. And then I use this rullsnäppare. Is it on Swedish? 
But what it is, it's just a roll here that's a little bit uh, springy, so it will go over this bit and then lock it tight. So let's start with the hinges. And what I'm doing is I'm actually countersink this into the wood up here. And what I mean is this. So I just cut out a little bit in the wood because if you don't do it, this bit here will be out more than down here. So I'm just measure 10 centimeters and then I flip it to the other side and take 10 centimeters and that's gonna be the other edge on the hinge. thing I do is I just put this up roughly where I want it and then I screw it in. Looks awesome. So I have done both sides and the electrical cabinet here. So I have a little bit down here and of course up here and then the kitchen area is all left. So I have a little bit more to do, but let me know in the comments what you think about my design choice of the cabinets. Um, if you hate them or if you love them. And with that said, I thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.